Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second installment of the PoA dependent enclosure and today we're going to be putting together the mounting hardware that will allow you to attach your box to a pole. So I found that making your own mounting hardware is much cheaper than buying it as these uh, assemblies can normally go for like anywhere from 50 to $60 which is just absolutely ridiculous. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that and without further ado let's get into the build. Now that you've seen the tools, I'll quickly show off the parts, and as a reminder, you can find the links to all of these in the description. And with that out of the way, we're going to get into step one, which is going to be to attach the mounting brackets. So these are going to be little hinges that should come with your enclosure and you, you can just use the screws that should come as well. And you can take your impact driver and, and drill them in. Uh, the screws should just mesh straight into the plastic. This is a relatively simple uh, first step, so it's always good to get one of these out of the way. And for the next step, step two, we're going to be measuring and cutting our tin rail. So this is where you're going to need that uh, angle grinder and your file. I start by holding the tin rail up to the enclosure's brackets to see if the screw holes align. Uh, in this case they did, so now I know where I need to make my cut. If you find that your DIN rails uh, holes do not line up with the hinges holes, you can always go ahead and cut your own holes in the DIN rail. Once you've cut your two DIN rail pieces down to size, now you can begin to file down those rough edges. Now it's up to you to decide how long you want to spend filing. Uh, I like to make my stuff look nice, so I, I spend a decent amount of time, but if you don't want to spend any time at all, that's cool too. Now that everything's filed down, we can go ahead and attach those DIN rails to the enclosure itself. So to achieve this, I just used a simple assorted screws and bolts kit and pulled out some of the smallest screws and bolts I could find and used them to attach the DIN rail to the enclosure hinges. Once the DIN wheel is attached, we can go ahead and start drilling the U-bolt holes out. All I'm doing here is just eyeballing where the U-bolts are centered 
Uh, once I get an idea of that, I can take my marker and mark a dot where the two holes need to be drilled. So as you may have noticed, I'm drilling straight into the where the uh, DIN rail already has holes. As it so happens, the U-bolts that I use, they're too thick to fit through the holes that are there. So the step is really just to widen the holes that are already there and make it so our DIN rail, or rather our U-bolts will fit. So the final step in this guide is going to be to attach the U-bolt assembly. find that the holes that you made in your DIN rail are slightly scuffed, you can always go ahead and take that file like I'm doing here and try and whittle them down to make it more flush. Just as a little representation here, I'm going to take a pole and slide it through the U-bolt assembly. That's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you did enjoy and I hope that you find that this video is useful. Please feel free to leave feedback. And if you need any extra help with anything, you can always reach out either via the YouTube channel, Reddit, or my website, BeGoodBuilds.com. I'm going to get working on the off-grid rig build guide as soon as I can, so stay tuned for that one as well.